Hello everyone. Today's a very big day for me and for my platforms. Well, kind of. It's a big day for me nonetheless. So as I've been mentioning, as I've been hinting on and off on YouTube videos, TikToks, Instagram, pretty much everywhere. Um, something big is dropping today. Actually, if you're watching this, that means it's already been dropped. Um, it's live. It's here, which is crazy. Um, a lot of work, time, and money. I mean, not too much money, but a, a substantial amount. Like a, a reasonable amount. But, um, all that has gone into this. Without further ado, I am happy to announce and proud to announce that I have a podcast. What? That's right, guys. I have a podcast now. I'm a podcast girl. What can I say? Not only do I have a podcast, which is called High on Life. I haven't even told you the title. It's called High on Life. But I also have a website that dropped as well called High on Life. So we have High on Life the podcast and High on Life the website. So the website is also kind of a blog. So it's just kind of like a fun place for me to... I guess it's a less formal place, I could say. The website's a less formal place for me to talk about certain things, talk about topics. If you guys have questions for me, I can answer them there. And just a place for not only me to get out of my system, like get feelings out there, but it's also good for you guys and for other teens out there who might be going through it a little bit, you know? It's just a nice little community, a nice area. My website also has like obviously links to my YouTube, stuff like that, um, some photography stuff, and a link to my podcast and everything about my podcast there. One day, I'm hoping to also be using that for merchandise, but we're not quite there yet. The early years of the website, but it'll be more to come, and I am really excited for it. And then obviously, the podcast. So the podcast, I, at first I was only going to do the blog, and I was like, I feel like I can't be consistent with that. I know I won't be because it's going to feel like score. Like just writing blog posts all the time. So I was thinking, I was like, what can I do? And I thought, podcast. I thought, oh my gosh, why haven't I thought about this before? I'm not a huge podcast listener myself, honestly. At least I wasn't until I really got into and started really like following um, Lexi Hidalgo. I really enjoyed her content and that includes her podcast. I started listening to it and I really liked it. And I think that was one of the things that kind of inspired me to do this. So the High on Life podcast is all about learning how to be high on life. And that sounds really generic. But it's like, we only have one chance on this earth. We only are given one life. And we need to take every second out of it that we can. We need to embrace every moment of it, the good and the bad. And I think everybody in this world is going through something, whether they show it or not. And some things hard, some things a little bit less hard, but they're all problems and we're all going through them. It's all, all the same. And I feel like people need to talk about them. And I, I talk about this a little bit in my podcast, but I've always felt like I've been put on this earth to help people. That's what I've always wanted to do is just help people. When I was younger, I would always want to like do something, make a blog or something or do blah, 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 blah help someone and then that that was also oh I want a music career so I can write songs and blah 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 and then it was YouTube and I actually started taking off on YouTube a little bit and that really inspired me because once I hit that a thousand subscriber mark I was like I saw everything in front of me and I was like I just did that I just built this channel from the ground up I can do a podcast I can do it I was like if I put my mind to it I can do anything on the podcast, we talk about all different kinds of things. I'm 17, I'm in high school, so I feel like me talking about my past experiences and me talking about my current problems and just stuff I've gone through and stuff I've learned through high school, it makes it so much easier to connect with me or with another person and I don't want people to feel alone. I want to build a community. I want people to feel loved and seen and I want my podcast to be a place where people can come after a long day or after a hard something. <laughs> I want my podcast to be somewhere where people can come and people can feel relaxed and you can laugh, you can cry, you can just 
be with yourself, be with me, and know that there are so many other people in this world who are going through what you're going through. And if we work together, if we help each other out, if we're compassionate and kind and we open up, we can all help each other and we can all be there for each other. And the world can just be so much brighter if you get the chance. I feel like on my YouTube channel, I've always been very honest, very open. I share every emotion, whether I'm laughing, whether I'm having a mental breakdown. We've had them all here. We've had it all. I videoed the night before my dog died talking about it. Like, I have been very open on here about my emotions and about my life and about what I've gone through. And the podcast is going to be just like that, if not more. I'm going to get into the hard topics. I'm going to get into the fun topics. And and even if no one listens to this, I hope everyone goes and listens to the podcast. I sure hope you're going there right now, after this. But if no one listens to this, it's still good for me because I think it's good therapy for me. Get my emotions out there, not just bombard all my best friends with everything I'm feeling all the time. I'm sure that's annoying. <laughs> Sorry. But it takes a lot for me to open up to people. And I think this is just a really good idea to help me and also help you. Even if you don't think you need to listen to the podcast or you think you're too old for it or too young, whatever, give it a listen. Maybe try it. And if not, spread the word. If you know someone who might need a little help, you know someone who might be struggling right now and needs a community who needs someone to listen to for advice. I've always been told I'm very good at giving advice. So here, this we're making a whole thing out of it. If you know someone who needs that, share the podcast with them. Like I said, you can find it on my blog or like my website, High on Life. I'll have everything linked down below. But you can also find it on Spotify. Um, I do not have it on Apple Music yet. I am still working on it. Apple Music is a little bit harder to like navigate and get the podcast on rather than Spotify. So we're working on it. But for now... It's on my website. It's on Spotify. So if you don't have Spotify, you can still listen to it on my website. And I will keep you updated on the whole Apple Music. I'll keep you updated on the whole Apple Music thing. The link to the website, to the podcast, everything will be down below. Yeah, just quickly, thank you guys so much. I would not be anywhere without you guys. Seriously, thank you for following me. Thank you for having some interest in my life. I am so forever grateful because, like I said, even if no one listens to this podcast, I'll still be proud of the fact that I did it, that I put in the hard work and I did it. One thing that this YouTube channel has given me that, well, there's been many things it's given me, but a couple I should say, is the value of hard work. I was definitely kind of falling off the face of the planet with this YouTube channel until I hit once I kept getting closer to 1,000 subscribers because that goal was just so close, but I couldn't get it, and I was starting to give up. And then it happened, and it, I think in that moment, like I saw all these videos that I created and just everything, and in that moment I realized, holy crap, I can do anything. If I stay positive, if I'm patient, if I work hard, and I believe that I can do it, I can do anything anything I set my mind to and that channel showed that it demonstrated that and that's where I got the confidence to start a podcast I'm like if I do the YouTube channel I can do a podcast I can start it on my own without a studio or any of that crap I can do it all on my own thank you I mean you've taught me hard work you've given me confidence that I would have never felt before. Young Liv, you look at the old videos, she would have never done this. She would have never believed that she'd be here saying she has a podcast now. Like, I wouldn't have had the confidence or the guts to go and put out a podcast or even talk about my life and my struggles with mental health and stuff on a podcast. But now look at us. Then again, I also was very saturated back then. Now I'm just kind of here. So, <laughs> yeah. High on Life podcast. New podcast episodes every Sunday. I'm so excited. Thank you guys. Seriously. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Bye.